so title of this uh, topic uh, is analysis of singly reinforced concrete beams so that means uh, you will be able to understand the, what is the meaning of singly reinforced so that means as per the information which we have already discussed we have gone through uh, that there may be an example of a rcc rectangular beam rectangular section and we have provided reinforcement only in the tension zone so that is uh, termed as a singly reinforced concrete beam so now we are going to discuss the analysis how to do the analysis now you have to refer clause number 38 of IS 456 where information related to the analysis part is uh, compiled so in accordance with the assumptions which we have taken in the previous lectures based on the clause 38 of IS 456 the analysis of a rectangular singly reinforced cement concrete beam we can do it and the information is explained hereafter now let us consider a rectangular section of a beam which may be subjected to loads and ultimately that load will be subjecting such that the it will be going to reach the ultimate limit state of stresses and strain so that means in a rectangular rcc beam concrete will be going to reach its ultimate stress as well as strain as well as reinforcement so here you have to go through this uh, diagram very carefully so first of all let us discuss about the section part so let uh, this is an example of a rectangular section of a beam having some reinforcement at the bottom where tensile forces will be acting and uh, v is the width of the section and uh, similarly d is the effective depth of the section and dotted line is indicating the location of the neutral axis so as we discussed we will give you the width of the section d will be effective depth of section effective depth mean it is the distance between topmost compression fiber of the section up to the centroid of the reinforcement which we have provided now we uh, have to discuss there is depth of neutral axis so you are aware that this dotted line is indicating the neutral axis location of the neutral axis and we are very much aware that when we are drawing any strain diagram for rcc section then above the neutral axis you can see there are compressive stains will develop and below the neutral axis we are expecting tensile stains will develop and uh, that will be considered when the ultimate limit state of stresses are reaching so x u will be depth of the neutral axis and then distance d minus x u that means distance from neutral axis to the centroid of the reinforcement that will be d minus x u distance of neutral axis from center to center of the steel now this is the strain diagram particularly you can see here the topmost fiber of concrete has reached its ultimate limit of stain as recommended by is 456 and uh, you can see here epsilon st is the strain in the steel at that particular level so dotted line again i'm stating that it is a neutral axis now when we draw the stress diagram as per the theory which we have already discussed you can easily see here above neutral axis compressive stresses can be seen <coughs> so this this is a stress block for concrete and as per assumption which we have taken below the neutral axis we are not showing any 
compressive stresses. So we are ignoring the compressive stresses taken by concrete and uh, only tensile stresses are taken care by steel. So at the topmost level of or you can say outermost fiber you can see here this is compressive stress maximum compressive stress that is 0.447 FCK. So this information we have already discussed in the previous lectures and the variation or stress distribution in the compression zone will be just like uh, this figure which we have shown here uh, some portion will be a straight line and after that it will be a curved shape just like a parabola type and the maximum stress at ultimate limit at the level of steel that is 0.87 fy so we are just considering that at the ultimate limit state maximum compressive stresses in concrete is 0.447 fck and the maximum tensile stresses are expected to be 0.87 fy after the application of all the partial safety factors which are recommended in case of a limit state methodology now when you take out the area of this uh, stress block so we are considering that the total area of this stress block will be giving us the value of compressive force which is given as cu so cu is the compressive force or you can say ultimate at the stage of ultimate limit state so when ultimate limit state is reached cu will be giving you the value of a compressive force in concrete and this will be the center of gravity of the stress block where the whole force will be acting and as per the mathematics uh, which is not in the, your scope uh, you have to remember this formula and the every information is given in IS code so what we are considering that center of gravity of this stress block from the outermost fiber of concrete it is given by formula 0.416 xu where this uh, this is the depth of the neutral axis again xu is the depth of the neutral axis so 0.416 xu will be the location of the center of gravity of this uh, compression block or compressive stresses block and similarly tu now tu is the tensile force in the steel at the state of uh, ultimate limit that's why we have taken in the abbreviation uh, here tu and t is for the tension and uh, u is for the ultimate state so that means uh, you are able to here find out cu is the compressive force in the concrete at ultimate limit state and the tu is the tensile force in the steel now the distance between the line of action of cu and tu that is known as z which is lever arm because cu and tu that means compressive force and tensile force in the section they are forming a couple and the lever arm given by uh, this total distance was d so d minus 0.416 xu so z we can calculate by this particular formula so z is lever arm between cu and tu which are forming a couple now when we have to calculate the value of cu what is cu c is the total compressive force in concrete so this formula is given by is code so you need not to do any calculation you have to refer this formula that is 0.36 fck b b is the width of the section and that's you the depth of the neutral axis similarly t u is the tensile force in steel which is given by tensile stress in steel and the area of tension steel which you have provided so you have to calculate how much is the area of steel here that is given by formula or symbol that is ast so area of steel when you multiply area of steel by ultimate tensile stress in steel so you will get this uh, value this formula 0.87 fy ast so from these two equation we can calculate the total compressive force in concrete 
as well as total tensile force in steel. Now in continuation to this, up to this we have gone through that how to calculate the compressive force in concrete and how to calculate the tensile force at the level of steel where reinforcement is provided. Now for the equilibrium of section, we will be considering the summation of the forces in the direction of uh, compressive force or tensile force that will be equal to zero. Accordingly, we can say C u will be equal to T u. That means at the ultimate state, total compressive force in concrete will be equal to total tensile force in steel so that the your yes, beam section should remain in equilibrium. So that's why from the earlier these two formulas, we can equate these two values 0.36 FCK BXU that is equal to 0.87 FY into AST. And when you solve this particular equation, you get some formula and that formula is you can work out the value of XU. So what is XU? XU is the depth of the neutral axis. So this formula we uh, are able to use and if we have all the information that means if we know the grade of steel so ultimately you can get the value of Fy from the grade of steel and if you know the area of steel that means how many number of bars are provided and what is the size of one bar that means what is the diameter of one bar so from that diameter uh, we can able to calculate the area of one bar and uh, the number of bars which are provided multiplying it you will get area of steel here and fck you can get the value from this is the characteristics compressive strength of concrete so that means if you are uh, uh, having the information that what is the grade of concrete which we have taken in casting this uh, particular beam section so fck we can get from here and uh, b is the width of the section which is under consideration so from all these values we can find out the depth of neutral axis <coughs> also from this uh, strain diagram by taking uh, the similar uh, triangle equation we can get also x u by d ratio that is equal to 0.33 here you can see if you take this whole triangle if you take this whole triangle then this will be 0.0035 plus epsilon st so that's why we have taken here 0.0035 plus epsilon st and in uh, another triangle you will get the value that is 0.0035 so by equating by taking the help of similar triangle theory you can get the value of x u by d so this will give you the ratio of depth of neutral axis to the effective depth of the section now this is the information which is based on the section which are given for the purpose of analysis now another very important aspect is you have to check what is the limiting value of x u by d x u max by d and uh, that information x u max by d uh, limiting value of this for different grade of steel is given in is456 and uh, that is based on grade of steel as well as uh, what is the depth of the section so accordingly grade of if uh, the grade of steel is fe250 that is mild steel then the maximum limit or you can say limiting value of xu max by d should be 0.5313 and accordingly as you uh, go for the higher grade of uh, steel then xu max by d value is decreasing now what is uh, basically limiting value why we are taking the limiting value so here you can note down this information limiting value of xu that is the maximum value of the depth of the neutral axis which is restricted by is456 it corresponding towards the balance section at the ultimate limit state of a failure in flexure so there are three cases if the value which you have worked out 
by doing the numerical analysis that means by doing the calculation the whatever the section which you are going to analyze first of all you will be finding out the depth of the neutral axis then from the code we will be taking the value based on the grade of steel if the your value xu is less than xu max then we will say that section will be under reinforce and if xu is greater than xu max then the section will be over reinforce and third case when xu is equal to xu max then the section will be balance section so code is recommending you either you can go for this value or you can go for third value this value a code is not accepting so that's why xu can be less than xu max or equal to xu max so this is the condition which is, is code is recommending so that's why we are saying that depth of neutral axis which we are calculating by this particular formula this is valid only when xu is less than or equal to xu max so this information you have to take care and then you uh, that's why we are taking the value of xu max that is limiting value of a depth of the neutral axis which is restricted by is 45